talking about story, and if there's one story that I've heard that has completely blown my mind away, it's your story, Daniel. Starting, you know, your family story. Your dad, comrade Moses F. Young, was sentenced to life in prison. And yes, that's hey, it. Hey, daddy. <laughs> Tell us about this story and please tell us how you're able to still maintain the Daniel Sweet Boy that we know and still be a creative, giving your best yeah. to your project every single day. So I, I was born into a military family and we lived in Kaduna in Jaji. And there was a coup to try to overthrow the then government of uh, Ibrahim Babangida. Mm. And... For some reason, we had a neighbor who was really close to us, mm -hmm. and he was one of the masterminds of the coup. And so he was hell-bent on making sure my dad went down with him. Mm. And a few minutes before they were all shot and killed, mm. an officer walked up to them and called out the names of three officers to be set apart. My father was one of the officers they called to the side. Now, these three officers who were called out were then commuted to life imprisonment. Now, my father was in prison for a long, long time, and then IBB, one of the things he did was to pardon my father just before he left, but he didn't make it official. So although my father was released in 1993, he lived like a pariah. No one wanted to touch him. No one was sure about him until 2020, when the government of, you know, Mohammed Buhari pardoned him officially, mm -hmm. and he was... His rank and entitlement were restored and, you know, all that backlog of payments of, you know, salary and pensions and everything was now paid to him. I know, I know. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Important part of the story. So after three years of being in prison, my mom was traveling from Benin on her way to visit my dad from Benin to Kano Central Prison. She had an accident and she died. And, um, of course, that broke my father's heart, and I lived through all of that. And you're right, the bitterness could have entered me, and I could have grown up a, a terrible person. But I think I had great family support. You know, the network of my family members came around us. Aunties, uncles, cousins, you know, came together and raised us. I was practically raised by my grandparents and my uncles and aunties. You know, that's why... I am the way I am today. There's also another thing that goes around being um, Nollywood actors, and it's the big M word, which is our marriages. Right. What did that make you feel at the time? So marriage, I uh, disconnected from the scene because I was mentally trying to be this guy, the married guy, you know. And then as this married folk, you know, I put a certain pressure on myself. I switched off certain lights. But, you know, when, uh, when you switch off lights, um, certain things uh, happen as consequences. And I take full responsibility for how my marriage went. Full responsibility, because when we get to heaven, God is gonna ask me first, as the one he put in charge. I'm really thankful how we went. My boys are doing awesome. Mm, that's good. Awesome. <laughs> Do you still believe in love, though? Say? Do you ever try again? Do you still believe in love? Would you ever try again? Love? I, yo, I've, I'm full of love, man. I have a lot to give, but I'm now skeptical of uh, all this stuff. I see a fine girl, I'm like, hmm. <laughs> I might meet another girl tomorrow and be like, woohoo, mm -hmm. you know, it's very possible. Mm -hmm. It's very possible for me to date a foreigner at this <laughs> point because culture, our culture, our culture has this thing with it mm -hmm. that smells like dawa dawa. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't know if I'll do it again just yet. I don't know, but make with it look now. Make with it look, make with it look. Nancy Asima Show is proudly brought to you by Indomie Noodles. Proudly supported by Viva Plus Detergent, Munchit, Kellogg's, and Power Oil. Proudly refreshed by Rockstar Energy Drink.